My name is Mike Boxwell and I'm the author of a new book called Owning an Electric Car. Over the past few weeks I've been carrying out a number of tests using two different electric vehicles and two different internal combustion engine vehicles to see how they compare environmentally. The two electric cars I've been using have been a brand new Mitsubishi iMeve and a four-year-old G-Wiz. I've been comparing these with a brand new Toyota Ego and a two-year-old Fiat Panda. I've been measuring the relative fuel economies in order to ascertain which are the cheapest to run and which is the most environmentally efficient. The test itself was quite simple. Take four cars and one driver. Charge the electric cars up so they have a full tank of electricity and fill the combustion engine cars up with fuel. Then, take each car out on an identical route and at an identical time of the day. At the end of the run, plug the electric cars in to charge up and measure the amount of electricity they use to recharge using a simple wattmeter and refuel the combustion engine cars up with fuel and measure exactly how much fuel they used. I wanted to have a route that would combine different types of roads fast dual carriageways, inner city roads, urban driving and open countryside. So I chose a route that was just over 14 miles long that encompassed all these different roads and would reflect a typical commuting journey for many people. In terms of a financial saving, the electric cars were considerably cheaper to run than the combustion engine cars. Both electric cars used around 3 kilowatts of electricity to complete the route, which in the UK would cost somewhere in the region of 25 pence. That's around 31 cents in the United States. In comparison, the Toyota Ego used 1.33 litres of fuel at a cost of £1.52 and the Fiat Panda used over 1.5 litres of fuel at a cost of £1.73. Admittedly, if I'd done these tests in the, in the United States, the cost would have been significantly cheaper, costing around a dollar in each case. The really interesting figures, however, come when you measure the carbon footprint of the fuel used. In the case of the electric cars, the carbon footprint was under 50 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometre. The combustion engine cars didn't fare so well. The Toyota Ego emitted 136 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometre, whilst the Fiat Panda emitted 155. If you take into account the carbon emitted in the production of the fuel in the first place, the figures are even worse, jumping to 164 grams and 186 grams of carbon dioxide respectively. I then recalculated my figures for the electric cars, assuming the electric cars were charged from a coal-fired power station. I found that in this instance, the electric cars were still more efficient than, than the combustion engine cars, producing between 20 and 30% less carbon dioxide than the internal combustion engine cars. So there you have it. Four different cars, one inescapable conclusion. Electric cars are not only cheaper to run, but they offer considerable environmental benefits. And it doesn't matter if the electricity comes from coal. My tests demonstrate the carbon footprint of the electric car is still lower than the internal combustion engine car. If you want more information about the tests, you can find it in my book, Owning an Electric Car, published by Code Green Publishing and available worldwide from Amazon and all good bookstores.